Looking at these fractions, I immediately notice this uncomfortable number of 71 to me. It doesn't seem like a number I can do a lot with easily. But looking at the 5 and the 30, I notice they're related. And that 5 is a factor of 30. And so I thought, well, let me try to make the numerators match because I can go from there. So I multiplied the top and bottom by 6 and got 30 over 72. So now my numerators match and my denominators are just slightly different. So it became a new comparison. So since I have the same amount of parts, all I have to think about is which, have, which are bigger parts, which are 71st, because it's partitioned less times. So that, that is the greater fraction. Finding a common numerator, not something I thought about because we're so trained. I was trained in school just to do common denominator, but rather than working with 12 and 71 and changing every, both fractions, I could just change one fraction and have matching denominators, and that works because then you're only deciding which, which um, fraction has larger parts since you know you have the same amount of parts for each.